How's it going? I'm Caleb Fruits from FNS Outdoors, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the uh, Converse keepers that a lot of guys use for their bottom edge sets. Um, in case you don't know what the bottom edge set is, they basically take, say, this was a brick or something, and you take one of these babies and they um, drill holes in this right here, and they drill it into the brick, and then they set their trap up on it inside that so it don't move back and forth. So that's what we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make today. Um, basically, the basic material that we're using is just an old sheet of tin. If you get online and look at the price of these things, they're actually kind of pricey. Um, for for a dozen of them, it's about 16 bucks. So I've already got this uh, piece that's cut by 3 by 6 inches. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take my conveyor. As you can see, it's set and it went off. It don't hurt that bad, but it's a good thing to put a safety on it when you're working with these things because um, it can hurt. <clears throat> um, so go ahead and set that on the notch that you're going to be trapping with it on. Lay it down on your sheet there and you're going to take a permanent marker and make two lines on the inside here. They don't have to be perfect lines or anything. This, this whole system doesn't have to be perfect. It's just basically a throw together. You're going to take the tin snips and you're going to cut uh, just about about an inch all the way up into the, the black line that you made on both sides. So you do that, flip it over, do this. And see I'm making cuts to the lines. Um, after this, take your pair of pliers. I got my uh, needle nose. This is all I got right now. I've usually been using uh, just a regular pair of pliers. Put your end of your pliers on that black line and bend straight up, okay? <clears throat> so you're going to bend all those straight up, just like that, and then you're going to take and you're going to go about where you think it's fit, and you're going to bend it down at, at it, kind of like an L pretty much. So what that's going to get you, and I've got some already made over here, is something that looks about like that, okay? Then you're going to you just want to do a little test run on your trap. Okay. Set your trap up, and what you, when you gotta do this, you gotta leave it open and then set it inside that thing. Obviously, it's gonna be drilled down to a brick. You're gonna want to use concrete screws or um, anchors or something like that. And then see how it's set like that, just for safety. I'm gonna put that down there. But with that screw down, you can hit your trap. Um, it, it don't fall over, which is the main point when it's underwater. Then you can and go like that. And it sets off perfectly. So that's all I got to show you. All right, thanks. Have a good day.